I'm gonna put together a video and show you guys the plan here is to design a uh, a rod mount for my kayak um, what I'm doing is I'm upgrading from this crate that I've been using for the past two three years to which I'll do in another video but I'm gonna build this is basically just you know a dog food container and I'm gonna make it into my own kind of redneck live well um, the crate's been awesome uh, basically zip tied it to the kayak um, I had this mounted on the back of it I mean it's worked great for storage great for uh, rod storage net storage and then in here I just keep you know whatever safety gear and all kinds of stuff and it worked wonders um, reason I'm switching is what I'm starting to do is I'm kind of starting to upgrade my my fishing game I'm starting to target fish um, larger fish I'm starting to fish Southern California a little bit more in doing so I need to be able to catch bait fish and keep bait fish alive um, thus I need a live well and I'm kind of too cheap to buy one um, Hobie makes one but it's I think it's like three four hundred dollars I just couldn't do it that's too expensive so um, I'm switching to this anyways and uh, I had to figure since this is now going to be sitting on the back of my kayak I had to figure out how I was going to store my rods while fishing um, so we'll see how this build goes I got all the material I'm, I'm basically mirroring copying this guy from uh, that already has a video on YouTube the only difference really is uh, how I'm going to mount my rod how I'm going to mount it to my kayak um, but yeah let's see how this goes so here's uh here's my materials list uh, this is the, essentially the design what it's going to look like it'll look a little different here once i cut it and put it all together um, got your primer your paint i got black truck bed liner i'm going to spray paint it all when i'm done i have a heat gun i'll show you what that's going to be used for uh, these pipe cutter to cut the pvc and then the saw i think this is for an inch so i don't know if it'll cut the inch and a half that well that's that's why i got the saw i got a drill just because i have a few things i need to remove off the kayak and the most important thing of all is to do your projects with beer and here's a tour of the kayak we're going to be working on this is an old town predator xl i can't remember the year it's like 2013 2014 maybe 2012 not 100 percent sure uh, this thing's a freaking fishing machine. I, don't, I mean, you guys might be, you're into Hobies or, you know, Ascend or whatever kayaks you're, what you fish out of. I will tell you, I am super stoked with this kayak. This is like my pride and joy right here. I love this thing. It's, it's perfect. So this is where my live well more or less is going to be. The biggest issue that I've, with this entire project is, you know, it's, it's an easy project. It's, all we're doing is putting together PVC. It's pretty straightforward. The biggest issue is how am I going to get that PVC to mount to my kayak? Um, pretty much everything I put in my kayak has to come out of the kayak as well, just because this kayak already is, I think, 90 pounds empty. So it's a pretty heavy kayak. So when I'm, you know, loading it in the truck or moving it from to, to go where I want to go fishing, I have to be able to take everything in and out of the kayak. So everything I design for my kayak is designed with that purpose to be able to be taken out of the kayak. Um, so what I've come up with, and I think it should work, is I've got all these, you know, Scotty, Scotty mounts for, uh, for you know, whatever, Scotty mounts for rod holders. Um, the plan here is I'm basically going to set it up just like it's sitting there drilled into the back of these here and that's going to be my my rod holder um let me show you what it looks like all right so this is the hardest part of this entire project um i'm like i mentioned i'm, I'm this is an old town predator so a lot of the hobie kayaks you know in this general area they have they already have holes for rod holders and a lot of guys what they'll do is they'll they'll mold their pvc to fit into that rod holder and then they'll build their pvc mount onto that this is an old town predator i don't have that luxury so what's really cool about the old town predators is that they do have 
these these deals right here and they're basically just these removable slots that you can drill you know i put rod holders in them i put my fish finder on them and i play with them i mean you can see i messed that one up but i i mix and match stuff all the time depending on the type of fishing that i'm doing um, how i'm going to troll if i'm going to troll with my rods up front if i'm going to troll with my rods behind me all kinds of different stuff so my biggest hurdle was trying to decide all right how am i going to get how am i going to mount this rod holder to that that slot these slots um i'm probably gonna be carrying three four rods at a time this i do a lot of ocean fishing these are heavy duty rods there's a lot of weight i gotta have a lot of support how am i gonna do that this is what i came up with i'm basically just using my scotty you know scotty rod holder straight up it worked out that it was flush and it didn't didn't you know rub or anything like that got two of them so inch and a half works just fine and it's it's gonna work in my mind i mean hopefully but yeah so that was the hardest thing is is figuring out all right how am i going to mount the actual kayak or rod holding mount to the rod holders to the kayak that's it and that project's freaking easy as can be and it should look pretty cool too gonna measure it gonna make some cuts put it all together and we will go from there Right, meow that is more or less what it is going to look like there's a difference in my design from the video I got inspiration from and I kind of just thought of this right now as I was doing it instead of doing these 10 inch pipes here on the ends I'm gonna leave these low just because my plan for this one at least I'm gonna keep my net right here so that way my net is lower than where my rods are gonna be um, to avoid, I don't know, tangle or whatever. Because I honestly, I do use my net quite a bit when I'm rock fishing, so I plan on keeping it. And then on that end, I'm gonna put it, this will be for the gaff. So, and I don't use that that often, but targeting bigger fish, I should be. Um, the only other thing I'm not sure of is I might tilt this one out uh, I don't know if I like this or not. Just maybe doing it like that, straight up, is what I think I'm gonna do. I don't know, let me think on it. You'll see here in a sec. I'm not just drinking beer to drink beer. I need an empty bottle to make my rod holders. Duh. All right, so the whole reason I'm using the heat gun and then, you know, putting the bottle in it is to give it that frayed look, which I think is really cool. Freaking super clever, man, really cool. And essentially all it is is it's just giving it so it doesn't look like a PVC pipe. You know, it makes it look like an actual rod holder, or rocket launcher, or whatever. Um, also, easier to kind of drop your rod. You know, you got a wider deal to put your rod in. All right, there we go. That's everything glued up. 
should have gone to bed probably 30 minutes ago, but I'm the kind of person that once I start something, I gotta, gotta see it finished. I think it came out pretty good. I think it looks good. It's cool. I cut these too, so I lowered it. I mean, that's as low as it's gonna go. And how this is actually gonna sit, it's gonna sit back like, pretty much like that. So, a little further back than what it is. But yeah, there you go. There's uh, there's some rod holders. I'm gonna paint it and I'll make a video tomorrow morning. All right, I keep talking about going to bed, but I'm just gonna be tired tomorrow at work. Here you go. That is a finished product. Looks pretty sweet. I like it. The paint definitely makes it, gives it the finishing touch. Um, just finished painting it. I'm not gonna set it on the kayak until tomorrow, just to let it let the paint dry. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is a uh, kayak rod holder my design my take on it pretty cool um i forgot to mention all these parts i mean this wasn't cheap this was about 60 dollars worth of pvc and the paint and all the stuff so not cheap but uh i don't know i'm pretty serious about my kayak fishing so it was worth it definitely pretty cool this is pretty much invincible it should last forever as long as i don't get tossed in the surf um Anyways, I'll do a follow-up video tomorrow just to cover everything I did and um, actually put it in the kayak and show you guys what it looks like. So, good night for now, and we'll touch bases tomorrow. Okay, so that's the final uh, product. I'm happy with how it came out. I think it looks pretty cool, um, and I think it's going to work. Uh, word to the wise it's it's a pretty heavy it's it's heavy the whole mount itself is is des definitely pretty heavy so however you hook it up to your kayak just know you know you're gonna have a pretty secure you're gonna need a secure connection to keep it from you know falling over or what have you like I said this is what I used I used just you know your typical Scotty rod holders that worked out for me um, but you can see it kind of I mean there's some play to it if you kicked it really hard you could probably knock it over but when you're rocking back and forth in the ocean it doesn't it's not gonna do nothing so so there you go that's it taken out and like I said, um, I mean, everything I design onto my kayak, I have to, uh, it has to be able, I have to be able to take it off the kayak just because it's too difficult to drag this kayak, you know, to the fishing grounds with all kinds of crap in it. I think that's for all kayak fishing. You, you know, you need to be able to take everything out. But that's what's kind of cool about it too, is you can kind of customize it how you want to. Um, Anyways, the only other uh, closing point, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna drill a hole right through here and just put a bolt um, and just, you know, carry that with me. So when I set this up at the beach or the lake or wherever, I put the bolt in it when I'm fishing, just in case I do flip over, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't fall out with it. The other thing I was kind of thinking too is you could do uh, on my cart, my milk cart or whatever kayak cart that I had I drilled holes in the holders and I had a little string to like a uh, like a clip that I would clip onto the reel just in case if things got hairy and I did tip over or whatever the reel would fall out of the holder but it'd still stay attached to the kayak um, typically when I'm ocean fishing if the surf looks sketchy I have the ability with my hatch to to load everything below so it's unlikely that I'm gonna do that on here because I don't think it it I don't know it mess with the aesthetics I don't think it look as cool with all these holes in it um, but anyways that is my two cents 
if you guys liked my video give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe I got a few more ideas for videos and gonna start making more so thanks and take care